You are watching this video because you, a family member or loved one, has a diagnosis of cancer. You may be overwhelmed with tests, doctor appointments, treatments, and changes in your life. It can be difficult to take it all in, but it is important that you learn some essential facts about your oral cancer therapy so that you can be a partner in your therapy. For that purpose, we present the following information in this film. Your nurse will add additional information when you are seen in clinic, and we encourage you to ask any questions and let your healthcare team know of any concerns you may have. With this information, we hope that you will have a better understanding of your treatment and what you can do to manage possible side effects. Remember, your healthcare team is here to help you. Oral chemotherapy refers to any drugs that you are taking by mouth to treat cancer. Many of our newer drugs are considered to be given orally. They are in a pill form or capsule form. Oral chemotherapy is, is just as effective as many of the drugs that we give by the intravenous form. We treat many tumor types and it really is dependent on the type of cancer you have. Your physician would meet with you and see if you are a candidate for oral versus IV. It's not necessarily one is better than the other, it's just a matter of what's best for your cancer. Oral cancer therapies are very specialized medications. Some medications must be approved following specific guidelines. Some manufacturers will only send their products through certain pharmacies which have been trained in dispensing their product. When you're prescribed by your oncologist to be taking an oral cancer therapy, Many insurances may require the drug to be prescribed or dispensed from a specialty pharmacy. These are drugs that have been researched. They are very costly. Your oncology physician or nurse will be asking you about your insurance cards. What is your prescription coverage? These are drugs that are usually mailed to your home and we give it anywhere from 10 days to up to a month before getting the medication. Call us when you get the medication. These specialty pharmacies, this is pretty much all they do. So not only are you getting representatives from us talking to you, you're going to get an individual pharmacist from that specialty pharmacy calling you before you get the drugs. Since you will be taking the medication for your cancer on your own at home, you and your family will have more responsibility to take your medication as directed. Since your nurses and doctors are not monitoring you directly at home, it is really important to report side effects that cause you distress in a very timely manner. We kind of switch the responsibility to the patient or the patient caregiver to make sure that the pill is taken as directed. So if you are taking oral therapies and have a side effect that you're uncertain of, we encourage that you call your office nurse or your physician and we can help guide you through the phone. So any emergency that develops, we want to know about it. Usually with our clinics, we have people on call 24-7. We'd rather know than not. They'll give you recommendations specific to your medication and your individual situation. If you miss a dose of your oral chemotherapy, we would advise you to call the office to get instructions. Usually it's not detrimental if you miss a dose of chemotherapy, but we would not want you to double up and take an extra dose the following day. All medications have a specific way to be taken so that you will get the most benefit from the drug and not have any complications from drug interactions. Some of the things I think you need to think about before starting oral chemotherapy, I think the very first thing is knowing the drug by name. Um, both the generic and brand name is very helpful. But second, you should read all the labels that are on your bottle. A lot of that information pertains to storage. Should I store medication in a refrigerator? Should I take this medication with food? Or should I take it on an empty stomach? It will also talk to you about some of the other medications that you might be on that may interact with some of the chemotherapy that we give. It's very important that we keep uh, on schedule with these medications, whether they're once, twice, or three times a day. And so by keeping by that schedule, these drugs can be as effective as possible. In order for me to keep a really good routine of taking my medication, I always have my cell phone with me, so I set a reminder alarm on my cell phone. Before starting oral therapy, we would like to make sure that you understand, number one, how to take the drug, and number two, what to look out for when taking the medicines as far as side effects. 
Hormone therapy is mainly used to treat certain breast cancers and prostate cancer. These cancers are driven by the presence of hormones in, their, in a person's body. For instance, certain breast cancers are fed by estrogen. By finding ways to either prevent the body from making these types of hormones or by blocking the certain receptors, you can actually see a tumor response. The more common side effects are things like hot flashes, some achy joints, and you do get some fluid retention in your feet and ankles and hands. Common sense things with hot flashes, you know, try to keep your room cool and wear light clothing and things like that. And simple over-the-counter medications, Tylenol, Advil, things like that work for the joint pain. Another possible side effect of hormonal therapy is low levels of sex hormones, which can make you lose interest in sex. They may also cause vaginal dryness in women and impotence in men. If you are in a relationship, talking to your partner about how you're feeling is important. It is also important to speak with your provider about these changes, as there are interventions to help. Some oral cancer therapies can have an effect on fertility or your ability to have children in the future. If this is a concern for you, discuss this with your doctor or nurse. If there is any possibility that you could be pregnant, let your doctor or nurse know immediately. Do not get pregnant or get a woman pregnant while you are on oral cancer therapy. Discuss with your doctor or nurse what methods of birth control might be safe in your situation. Oral cancer therapies, like most other medicines, will have specific instructions noted on the bottles regarding the storage and handling. It is important that you read these instructions and follow them carefully. We ask you that you don't remove it from the original container that you receive it from the pharmacy in to keep it separated from your other medications. Don't keep it around children or pets. If it needs refrigerated, put it in the refrigerator. If refrigeration is needed, make a special area away from food items. Store the medication in a sealed plastic container or bag. Definitely don't set your medication on a windowsill where it's in the sunlight. Not anywhere where it's moist either. A lot of people keep their medications in a bathroom medicine cabinet and it's really not the best place to keep it. When the time comes and you no longer need to continue taking oral therapy or your medication treatment will change, any leftover or unused medication will need to be disposed of properly. Ask your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist for advice about the best way to safely dispose of any unused medications. One of the methods many patients use to help keep them on track is by journaling. By that we mean they have a notebook and they just keep track of their dates and the times that they take their medications and any side effects that they may have with their medications. You taking a note of your daily kind of routine, the daily kind of side effects, that puts things into perspective for the physician to know really what the patients are experiencing. By keeping an accurate record of your treatment, you can decrease the chance of taking too many doses or missing doses. There are many resources available to assist you with your treatment experience. Your doctor or nurse will be able to identify these additional resources at your facility. For additional information about specific side effects or oral cancer therapy drugs, visit the website chemocare.com. This video has been generously sponsored by the Scott Hamilton CARES Initiative at Cleveland Clinic Taussig Cancer Institute. For more information about CARES, visit www.scottcares.org.